hi there and warm welcome to this video on python so in this video we are going to work with files and json data using the python programming language uh, what exactly is json data okay so json or javascript object notation is a data exchange format it is used mostly with the RESTful APIs to exchange data. So whenever we hit the server, the API server, the data is returned in the JSON format. So when it comes to Python language, the data structure which resembles JSON closely is a dictionary. Because both dictionary and JSON data, they are usually represented with key value pairs. So let's say we have to represent a user we will usually have a name, let's say John, we may have age, let's say 24, and then similarly we may have a language for that specific user, so I'm writing Python here. So this is basically an object with some keys and some values. This is, all, this is a dictionary in Python and this is also the JSON data. So this is how JSON is represented, which means using keys and values. So in this program, uh, what we have to do is, first of all, we have to write the JSON data to a file. So let's see how we can do that. So let's use this hardcoded data only instead of writing any new data because we already have this user as a dictionary. So whenever we are working with the JSON files, we have to use a module called JSON. Now this user is a dictionary. So before we can write it to a file, we have to stringify it. So for that, we have to use a method. So the data which I'm going to write to file is json.dumps user. Now this method in a way serializes or stringifies the object to a string which I can write to my file. So my file is, let's say, Oh, users.json and I'm opening this file in append mode. Now I have to write my data to the file and then I can simply close the file. So I'll just save this program and let's just go to the terminal and let's run this program. Okay, so we can see here that a new users.json file has been created for us. Now, if I click on this file, I will see that I have all the keys and values which uh, were the part of my dictionary or my user object. Now, let's go towards the read side. Let's create a new file that is read json.py. And I'm going to import the same module again. So import JSON. So the very first thing which we have to do is we have to get the reference to the file. So let's say again open users.json and this time we have to use R flag for the read mode. Now my data is basically f dot read. And then we can close because we already have the data. Let's try to print this data first before we do anything else. So let's go to the terminal and python read json.py. Okay, now I can see that this data resembles uh, exactly with my object. So which means I should be able Let's, let's see whether I can perform all the dictionary operations already or not. So if I try to do, let's say data and then using some key, let's say name. I want to show you guys whether this will work or not. So let's just run it once again. Okay, so as we can see that string indices must be integers, not string. It means that when we read the data, it is still a string, which means, first of all, we have to convert this back to a dictionary. 
how are we going to do that let's see so let's just uh, comment this for now okay so my uh, dictionary or my user object is going to be json dot loads data so this is this function that is json dot loads is going to do the opposite of json dot dumps so this was converting my dictionary to a serialized format and this is going to deserialize my data to my object or my dictionary now my uh, user is going to be a dictionary so let's say if i can print a value from one of the by using one of the keys of user object so if i say user name so let's run python read json.py okay great so now as we can see that we are able to access the dictionary by using its keys that's it so here we learned that we can change a dictionary and write a dictionary to a string and write it to a file and using the other function which is json.loads we can convert the string to a dictionary so whenever we are storing json data to files we always have to convert it or serialize it first and then we are uh, when we are reading the file and when we want to convert that data back to a dictionary then we have to deserialize it using the json.loads function so hope this video was helpful for you uh, thank you so much uh,